everyone. I'm the story lady. How are you today? It's a bit sunny some places and a bit rainy in others. <laughs> but you know, there are some animals that it doesn't bother them whether it's raining or sunshine or sleet or snow. And these animals are called bears. <laughs> if you want to go and get one of your bears, if you have a bear, if you don't have a bear, you can get any of the other animals that you want to come and sit with us and listen to a story. Go and do that now. Hmm. <laughs> this is a David Walliams book and it's called Boogie Bear. Oh, you're back. Good. Phew. I'll be ready. There are bears in this book. Ooh. It's called Boogie Bear. Up at the North Pole, polar bears were swimming, fishing and growling. The biggest, funniest one of them all was sunning herself on an iceberg as usual. Lying there without a care in the world, she scooped fish from the sea with her paw and dropped them into her mouth. This is the life, she sighed as she drifted off to sleep. When the polar bear finally woke up, the most awful thing had happened. The animal must have eaten too much for lunch because part of the iceberg she was lying on had snapped off and floated away. The polar bear was now miles from home. Ooh, sorry. Was now miles from home and being hurled around by an angry sea. Oh dear, oh dear, she said as she wobbled surfing a human wave. Surely things couldn't get any worse. <laughs> they could. Much worse. As the polar bear was swept south, the sea became warmer and warmer, melting the iceberg, which became smaller and smaller. Soon there was no bigger than an ice cube. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said the polar bear as she toppled into the sea. Splosh! Bobbing her head up out of the water, the polar bear spied that the nearest land was miles away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. She did her best bear paddle before collapsing on the rocks, waves crashing around her. Hmm. Behind her, she heard a rustling in the forest. Rustle, 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 rustle. Looking up, the polar bear saw hundreds of eyes staring back at her out of the gloom. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh very dear, she whispered to herself. Surely things couldn't get any worse. They could. Much worse. Charge! Came a voice. Before the polar bear knew it, hundreds of brown furry creatures were stampeding towards her. Ah! They cried like soldiers running into battle. Get the boogie monster! bellowed the littlest one from the back. What's a boogie monster? That's it, shouted the big one with the floppy ears. I'm scared, said the one with the biggest, wettest nose. The brown bears had never seen a white bear before. Look at that. Wow. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh really dear, said the polar bear as she ran away into the forest as fast as she could. Ahead of her was the tallest tree in the forest, so she clambered up all the way to the top. The tree swayed under her weight, while the bear clung on desperately as the brown bear circled. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh very, very extremely dear. 
she said to herself. Get that boogie monster! shouted the small one, baring his sharp teeth. Uh, can, can someone else do it? It's scary, whined the one with the biggest, wettest nose. I, I'm not scary, shouted the polar bear. Yes, you are, said the little one. Your fur is a funny colour. Well, I, I, I think your fur is a funny colour. That enraged him. Get up there! Uh, uh, I'm scared of heights, replied the one with the biggest, wettest nose. The smallest one huffed and picked up a stick as big as he was. Take that, boogie monster! Whoosh! Biff! Ouch! called the polar bear. She lost her grip and slid down the tree at speed. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh she dear, she muttered to herself as her big furry bottom hit each branch on the way down until she hit a big bendy branch which bounced her right back up to the top of the tree. Boyong. Surely things couldn't get any worse. They could. Much worse. As the polar bear was so heavy, the tree buckled to one side. The pack of brown bears reached up with their paws and grabbed it at the trunk. Get that boogie monster, ordered the little one. The brown bears lost their grip on the trunk and the tree went twang back up. Twang. Oh dear, screamed the polar bear as she soared through the air. It's a flying boogie monster, remarked the one with the biggest, wettest nose. <laughs> In no time, the poor animal had crash-landed headfirst into a huge muddy puddle. Let's get the boogie and monster! shouted the littlest one. Oh dear, oh dear, said the polar bear as she stood up. Cake. Caked in mud, the polar bear wasn't white anymore. Stop. Yeah, stop. It's not a boogie monster, it's a bear, exclaimed the one with the biggest wettest nose. A boogie bear, shouted the littlest one. A huge smile spread across the face of the one with the floppy ears. She's not a boogie anything, she's gorgeous. Boring, fumed the littlest one. Miss, we are so sorry for frightening you, said the one with the floppy ears, stepping forward. I in truth, we, we were frightened. Here, you see, us bears are brown. Uh, they're all there. All us bears are white. Can you see? She's pointing north. I love your white fur, <laughs> said the brown bear, checking out the white bear's big furry bottom. I love your brown fur, said the white bear, checking out the brown bear's big furry bottom. Yuckety, yuck, 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 exclaimed the littlest one. The pair rubbed noses in a show of love. The birds in the trees tweeted music, butterflies swooped and swirled, and as if that wasn't enough, a rainbow appeared in the sky. From that day on, the two love-struck bears spent all of their days and nights together. <laughs> the white bear had never eaten honey before, which she loved. The brown bear had never eaten walrus before, which he pretended to love. The pair hibernated for the winter, cuddled up together in a hollowed-out tree. Things couldn't get any better, but they could. Much better! That spring, the polar bear had a litter of beautiful bear cubs. Their fur came in lots of different shades of white and brown. No matter, their mummy and daddy loved them all the same. Hmm, <laughs> look. <laughs> this really is the life, said White Bear. 
It certainly is, my love, replied Brown Bear. Oh my goodness, how wonderful. I didn't know that brown bears were frightened of white bears and white bears were frightened of brown bears. You learn something new every day. Wasn't that a brilliant read? David Walliams, wow, what a fabulous book. I'd like to thank Macmillan and Cornwall Council for allowing me to read these wonderful stories because my local library supplies me with books and they can do the same for you. I'm sure if you go online you can order a book and then they'll tell you when it's in and you go down and pick it up. It's very simple. Or some libraries have a van that goes around, a bit like fish and chips, which would be quite wonderful, but it's books. And, <laughs> and you can go in and pick a book there. Or some libraries are still open. Go on, go and get a book. You never know, you might find the one that makes you go, whoa! Okay, until the next time. Stay safe, stay well, and please stay in. Bye-bye. I wonder what I'll read tomorrow. Hmm. Ooh.